let's go to the gstr2 which is the reconciliation section today which allows you to reconcile your purchase data with the gstr2 data so i'll just show you before i go to 2 i'll show you the purchase register the how it looks like and how easy it is to fill in your purchase the same comes out of our connectors in sap tally and other erps the same excel will come out this is the purchase register the first section again is the type of sub purchase that you're doing the your own purchasers gstn number the suppliers data the invoice level data now if the supplier is unregistered it would come under reverse charge the item level data it's hsn code or description here we have added one more column which is eligibility is your item eligible for input purchase or capital goods or input service or it is not eligible for a tax credit once you once you enter this you have these options here once you enter this data you provide your uqc code and quantity and then the tax level data of your invoice with items so again it's a very simple easy to fill and also easy to extract information from the erps once you upload this again the same uh, process of mapping the excel you can use gst or excel templates or from the connectors that we have tally connector you can it exports at uh, the same excel once you do this you say process and next again the mapping of the same all the various uh, registers will happen automatically and you come out with the mapping from the same you have uploaded the data i have already uploaded a sample purchase data into this once it uploads it does the validation it does everything and it gets you to the draft page again it automatically bifurcates the people the invoices into it's a b2b or b2b ur it's an import it's a debit note it, various kinds of transaction will automatically get populated here i have for demo purpose i have created some information and already uploaded i'll just reconcile the uploaded data now now reconciliation is the process which is now uh, not mandated by the government of india but reconciliation helps you in various ways one is for your internal audits for your company audits and for explaining you the difference between a 3b and 2a available with you so lot of companies are now getting legal notices because there's a difference in amount of the 2a download and the 3b that they have provided so now they have to explain why there is a difference and what is the credit they are taking so they need to explain which all invoices they have considered which all parties they have considered and what is the total value so in reconciliation section we have taken care of all those aspects and more to help a proper reconciliation now as we have uploaded our purchase record we have downloaded the gstr 2a from the gstn portal after downloading we see the following table in this download we have also we can also have to make sure that we have already configured our uh, reconciliation with these parameters so what is what are these parameters so there is a differential tolerance value we have allowed to be kept at various levels at the invoice level at the taxable amount level at the tax amount level this value can be configured from 1 rupee to 1000 rupees or more it's as per every individual company's appetite to take the tolerance value currently for this company 20 rupees is their tolerance value and that's what we've maintained here the right section is allowing us to match invoices which have certain problems so this section allows us to automatically match certain invoices as per your configuration that you provide here the auto match invoice number say your invoice number is like this we say and the the accountant at the purchase side just enters 234 we allow allow such invoices to match so that's kept on now auto match invoices with preceding characters now this may be little tricky it may be the same invoice but different preceding characters so i have kept it off for now auto match invoice dates if different in the same month so that is kept on so if the invoice number is same but while entering invoice dates have varied in the same month we can plan to match those 
So that's kept on. So once you save this, this entire data gets reconciled with the new configuration and you see this new table. So currently this data is already reconciled because if we, uh, if we reconcile on real time, it will take some time. So for demo purpose, we already reconciled this data. Earlier, the mismatches were about 245. After this configuration, they are now only 10. So this is the difference that you see when you use such configuration. Now, here to read this table, I'll help you understand certain metrics. So there are total 126 suppliers to this company. These are the name of the suppliers. These are the GSTN numbers. Your purchase register has recorded 2 crores 54 lakhs 76,000 as the purchase value for that month. But in your 2A, your suppliers have reported 2 lakh, sorry, 2 crores 74 lakh 96,000 as the material they have supplied to you. Now, if you see the values, ideally this value should have matched completely. But this is currently mismatching. And the difference is over 20 lakhs. So if ideally, if you do not reconcile and directly file your 3B, you would have incurred a loss of 20 lakhs plus more in terms of the invoice value and the GST value of 3 to 4 lakhs. So this is where it's an eye opener to understand that if we reconcile, we may be able to get proper ITC and we can also look at invoices that are not accounted for in our, I'll show you the uh, further things. So when you click on the, this entire table is sortable. So when you click on this uh, column, you will see all the, in, uh, you can, uh, you can like sort it in ascending and descending order. Uh, here you see all the suppliers with zero values in your purchase register. Now, if you take, go to next pages, you will see there are so many suppliers that you have not accounted for in your accounting books. So roughly there are about 70, 80 suppliers. Now, if you click on the other side, the supplier record, you will see the kind of suppliers who have not filed GST return or may have filed GST return with errors. So it's not coming to your uh, GSTN. It's not falling under your GSTN with the government. So when you look at this, you see the zeros are people who have problems in filing the GST return for that month. And when you start seeing values, that means they, they have filed the return with some values. Right? So this is the analysis that you start getting first. Second is after this analysis, you need to take actions and you need to reconcile. Okay. So I'll help you understand that. So I can go to the next section. I can understand which are those 10 records which are having mismatches. Okay, clearly my purchase shows 3,890 and the supplier shows 10,000. So there is a big mismatch here already. Either I have not considered these invoices in this month or I have not even considered. Either or is the answer to that. So I may want to keep some of these invoices pending or consider adding it to my purchase. Likewise, there are various ways to understand the mismatches. Again, similarly. This uh, company here is, you've recorded 33,000 as, as a purchase and this company is reported 42,000. When you go inside, you can see the details of these companies. And at this point, you see the mismatches. You see that these two are the invoices that you have received and this is the answer to that. So you can clearly understand that this is the invoice which has mismatch. This is the invoice number. This is the invoice date. So either this invoice is wrongly entered or it needs to be rectified. So there are various options to do that at our end. Let's go to the next section. After you understand mismatches are few and only 10 mismatches which you can handle individually. It's easy to handle those many records. But if you see missing, there are 503 records. Now this is a little bit of nightmarish situation. So uh, let me do one thing. I will sort this again in a descending order because let me take actions on the maximum sub uh, values first. So when I see Sweden packaging industry, I see they have 75 missing invoices. 
I can go inside and I can understand what are the 75 missing invoices. So when we say missing, it can be missing at either end. It can be missing at our purchase end, purchase books end, or it can be missing at the GST and supplier side end. So let's evaluate this very closely. So here we have two sections, missing records in our register, that is at our end. And this is missing re records in the GST and end. If you see, there are 37 records here and there are 38 records here. So there are records available, but both have gone missing in each other's section. There are various reasons that they can go missing, which we have to understand why. Now, our software intelligently handles this situation because it, it tries to understand if there is any matching record on the other side that you may have missed by certain human errors. So we provide a possible match option with the number of possible matches here. I'll again show you, these are all the possible matches that you see. This is a software that is enabling and matching two sides at various levels and it is giving you a result that okay, there is one invoice that is matching on the other side. This is the other side invoice. Do you think it is a good match? It's a suggestion you may want to take or you may want to leave. So when you say you may want to take, you have to evaluate why do you want to take it. So you say invoice number is this and invoice number is this. There is a mismatch in the invoice number. Dates are fine. There is a little mismatch in the invoice value as well, but it falls within your tolerance value. That's why it is given as a possible match. If you think this invoice is fine, you may click on match and this will start matching on both sides. Now, considering uh, this possible match is, the, is a uh, software function, it is giving you a list of various possible matches. And if you randomly choose and you say that, okay, these are all the same type of possible matches, you may want to do another thing here. You may want to say, show me all. It will show you all the invoices and if it has a possible match and it is one on the other side, that means you can, you can see a pattern here. You may want to say, select all. You understand the value that is given, 583,820 rupees. On the other side also, because there is a possible match that is one on the first side, there has to be similar possible matches on the other side too. Okay, there is one, one record which does not have the same. We'll remove that record out of the list. We'll see that there is a possible match and one number on each possible match. That means this is the value. So 5,83,815 and there was 5,83,820. So if 5 rupees is within your tolerance value and you think this is a this is a good suggestion and you want to take this suggestion, there is a bulk action we have provided to enable you to match in a bulk way. So there's a possible merge. So when you do this, all these records get automatically matched and they move to the match section. Now there is only one record that we have left. It did not match. So we have to look at either we have added this invoice wrongly or there is a missing record on the supplier side that he might have pushed in the next month. So we'll, there is a way to handle that too in the software, but I'll, I'll take this uh, one by one. So likewise, you did this uh, reconciliation in a very smart and simple and efficient way. So likewise, you can uh, get rid of maximum number of mismatches and missing records in a very simple way. Now there are situations where uh, I'll cancel this. And I'll go to the next uh, record type where I'll show you the, a different possibility. Now, there are some services uh, and companies who provide multiple invoices uh, against one invoice or one invoice against, or we record one invoice against multiple invoice that we receive, especially such sectors. So here, if you see, there are 52 missing records. I'll keep it at five. Now here at missing at purchase ends, that means at our end, there are about 51 records. And at the supplier side, uh, that is the GSTN side, there is only one record which went missing, which is this record. Now, this is, this is where it's one to many and many to many kind of situation. Where can you still plan to match? So this allow, software allows you to individually select invoices it will allow you to individually select invoices and it will give you a total of the same at the bottom. 
and you can individually look to match to this value. The moment it matches to that value, you can select the same and do the possible merge on the top and it will match those records individually. So this way you can handle such situations where there is multi records against one record or one record again against multi record either side. So this is where it allows you to reconcile with such situations also. Now, after you reconcile some say I'll deselect all of this. Let's say that these are all the invoices which are not matched. It may so happen that these records you have recorded in the next month. So there is this option of pending that we provide here. You can do a bulk pending or individual pending either ways is fine. So what will happen is your records from this month will be now available for reconciliation in the next month. So this way your uh, overlapping invoices across various months can be handled. There may be uh, some invoices. Now if this GST in itself is wrong, then there may be the entire thing you may want to reject because this does not show as a trade between you and the supplier. So you have all the actions available here. Your reconciliation will happen on the actions that you take. There is an entire download of Excel individual party wise as well as bulk for the entire month. So this is how we take care of the reconciliation. Now when you reconcile, you may want, you, you may see this option of reconcile with the pending invoices. What this means is it reconciles with the previous month's pending invoices that you get in this month. So it will reconcile over and over every cycle wise in every next month. So this is a quick demo about uh, reconciliation. The most important other important aspect is now that you have seen that there are so many mismatches and missing points in this. You want to notify your suppliers that you have not filed your GSTR1 or your GSTR1 is wrong or there are mismatches and all that. There is one button that we provide here which is notify supplier. They will, your suppliers will automatically get an SMS and email notification right from the software with the abstract details of the trade and they have to verify themselves with an OTP and they can view the details and collaborate with you. Once you see that okay you have sent the notification the suppliers have now started filing GSTR1 you want to now reconcile again with the refresh GSTR2 a this is the section that shows you when your last GSTR 2A download was and when you click on refresh button it will download the latest GSTR 2A and it will start reconciling again. So all your actions that you've already taken will be will be maintained. Only actions that you've not taken will be taken for reconciliation further on. So your effort in reconciliation will not go waste. So this is how the reconciliation mechanism will work. With the notification currently. After that the submit and e-sign is not uh, working that will not be available. 